Hi friends, in this video, I am going to explain a smart trick. Through this trick, you can easily split your data set into multiple sheet. I am Farhan, you are watching Digimastery channel. This is Microsoft Excel series. Let's start. You can see this data set. From this data set, we can fetch data according to company wise or item wise, salesman wise to multiple sheet. We can do that easily. In this video, we are fetching data according to salesman. You can see here salesman, how many salesmen here? This data is small. We can do that manually, but in large data set, we can use formula to find how many salesmen are over here. Click this cell, write unique bracket start in array, select this salesman column like this, control shift down bracket close. Now here we have three salesmen that's mean we transfer data from one sheet to three salesmen sheet. If we analyze data, all salesmen have randomly sales record. To collect all sales record according to salesmen, here we apply pivot table. To better understanding, we insert here which is duplicate of salesman column. We can also say it our helper column. Insert here column and that is data filter column. Click on this cell right here is equal to C2 press enter and use fill handle to fill other rows that is duplicate column. Now click inside data set and press Ctrl T. Check this box. My table has header and press OK. Change this table design if required. I select no design. Now go to insert tab and insert pivot table. Select first option and select new sheet and press OK and rename this sheet data set. Now right click inside pivot table, go to pivot table option, click on display and check this box classic pivot table layout that look like master data sheet design layout that is tabular form if we click on serial number check this serial number box because that is the numeric numbers and that is values it automatically goes in value box just click and drag into rows now check this date and salesman also in row area here item also check and company also check put unit into values click and drag into the value box or value area and rate and total is also in value area that data filter column is our helper column and that is put in the filter area you can see data filter in first row here now go to design tab click on subtotal and select do not show subtotal and also i do not want grand total of grand total to from here now if we see data is not showing 
you can see here month column automatically include pivot table to fix this just right click on month column and remove this month now you can see data set if we click here on data filter and click on gill that is our salesman and press ok you can see all sales record of gill and if same task performed to other two salesmen like this you can see each of them sales record separately now format this data select all data and all border select center all data like this now click inside this data go to pivot table analyze tab click this drop down and again click option drop down and select show report filter pages you can see this data filter column if we click ok you can see multiple sheet create according to our salesman record we have three salesman and three sheets create with salesman names if we hide this first row and this third row and click on print view you can see in print view group icon not shows and filter button also not show now if we enter data in master sheet select this cell and add new record like this now see in data set record is updated this new record or not record is not update now just press alt plus f5 you can see record is updated now see this salesman sheet where we record updated you can see new record updated here also that is pivot table magic no need vba or any macro you can see how easily we transfer data from master sheet to multiple sheets i hope you will enjoy this video friends subscribe to my youtube channel this is appreciation from your side thanks for watching i will see you in the next video